Okay, I normally don't do this because, as I have said... It's not because I'm a grammar Nazi. It's not because I like to go around picking out other people's mistakes. However, I'm gonna make an exception for people who really should know better. What was the budget for that Netflix production of Harry and Meghan? This is the first thing that comes onto the screen. Could they not afford a proofreader? First hand is one word. The ampersand, okay, there's an ampersand in the title, but it does not belong in this sentence. That should be A-N-D. Never before seen. That's a phrasal adjective. It should be hyphenated. And personal archive, what does this sentence say? This is a first-hand account of Harry and Meghan's story told with never before seen personal archive. Told with archive? Told with archive? The singular form of archive requires an article, either the or an. So, told with never-before-seen personal archives, oh, even that, better still, told with never-before-seen materials from personal archives. If it's plural, archives, you don't need the article. But if it really was just one archive, then uh, never-before-seen materials from a personal archive. So, is it really an archive or just a collection? Archives are where you keep inactive records just for historical purposes. What you see in this Netflix show is just videos sitting on their phones. Really, at Netflix, whoever wrote this sentence and whatever copy editors and proofreaders looked at this over and over and over, you just did a terrible job. That That's awful. And, and all you normal people out there, when you if you look at something like this, something this badly written and you go, you know, before personal archive, whatever, if you think it looks strange, but you, you figure, oh, it's Netflix, it, it can't be strange. I mean, they're all smarter than me. No, they're not. It's a bunch of elitists with $20 million to waste, and this is the nonsense that they came up with for the very first thing that shows on the screen.